Now, as parliamentarians prepare for that vote tomorrow, members of the Constitution Commission have made their rounds across the country sharing the gender equality message. The bills primarily deal with citizenship and equality. Head of the Commission, retired Justice, Justice Ruby Nottage, paid particular attention to Bill Number 3, which refers to a man who has a child out of wedlock born to a foreigner. An unwed father is naturally a single man who is not married, but it could be a married man. An unwed father would be a married man who is not married to the mother of the child. Mm -hmm. So it's a child born out of wedlock to a married man. The unwed mother and the unwed father are not on an equal plane. So we're seeking to bring equal rights both to our two unwed Bahamian citizens and to our children, our sons and daughters. And I think this is so important. It strikes at my very heart to think that the children who have nothing to do with the fact that the father's unmarried and he's Bahamian or the mother's unmarried and she's a Canadian, they have nothing to do with that. And yet the consequences are so heavy. Now, Bill 4, which seeks to end discrimination based on sex, involves the insertion of the word sex in Article 26 of the Constitution so as to make it unconstitutional to discriminate based on whether someone is male or female. Now, this has also sparked controversy as many believed it will lead to same-sex marriages. The Constitution will now say that sex means being male or female. That has tremendous consequences that our Constitution says that sex is defined in this way. Any court seeking to define sex as it appears in the Constitution must look at the Constitution. The court cannot go outside and say, oh, but we would like to define sex as such and such. And so, in a way, you know, this is a better safeguard against same-sex marriages than anything could ever be.